here we are. We're in downtown Reykjavik. I'll be taking uh, six awesome guests on basically just a 24 hour kind of exploration of my favorite food, culture, places, hot springs, glaciers, and pretty much everything you can get your hands into on a chilly November month in Iceland. My man, Ted. What's up, dude? How are you? In First time. Yeah, I know. First time to Iceland, dude. Yes. It's gonna be sick. This place is crazy. Oh, I got some fun stuff to throw for Ted. Yeah. Man, I'm. Dude. You know, to be honest, of everyone that I've had a chance to work with on this little project, I'm the most shocked that you haven't been there. It was actually like, kind of, in some ways, like I was, I was blown away. I was like, there's no chance that Ted hasn't been to Iceland. Um, Cause I feel like through climbing and through alpinism and just through you know general love yeah. for the outdoors, this would be like as a landscape photographer. I've just, this been, is... I've just been saving it for yeah, you. Yeah, I've been exactly. waiting. I've been waiting for this moment. Yeah, I can't wait, dude. We're gonna have a ride. Yeah. Sick, dude. So we're off. Yeah, we are in the tiny town of Selfoss, making our way. For the long drive, yeah, we're gonna journey. hope that we can score a quick ice cave mission um, midway through. Which oh, is, we're doing all the activities. yeah. We're gonna try. Well, the thing is, Northern Lights means at night, you know, so we have kind of yeah. all day to drive. Yeah, yeah. And might as well break up the day by. Oh my God! We're, okay, caves. so we're doing ice caves uh -huh. and Northern Lights at the Black Sands Beach. I mean, maybe you can't Maybe. promise anything, yeah, yeah. but this we'll is see, Iceland. We'll anything happens. happens. But if weather. it did, I mean, yeah, that yeah. would be like you should just go home and buy a lottery ticket because you would be like the most lucky dude in the world. Um, so um, for those who don't know, can you give people just a little quick like insight into like what you shoot, what you do, where yeah. you're from, kind of the whole sure. shebang, yeah. Um, yeah, my name's Ted Hesser. I am an adventure photographer, uh, videographer, rock climber, alpinist. Um, I do a lot of things, wear yeah, a lot of hats. <laughs> um, I used to work in clean energy yeah. for a lot of years. I was really into freestyle rap at one point. I don't know. <laughs> I kind of just like jack of all trades. But yeah, people probably know me for my photography, but first and foremost. Yeah. And I mean, that's how I was introduced to your work. It's interesting because yeah. I, I think that it was probably like maybe seeing some images you had shot of of Alex Honnold. Like, you don't really often get access to certain people, certain events, certain yeah. you know even crags or cliffs, or whatever, unless yeah. you. You have a level of proficiency, right? Yeah. And and I think that sure. is you know it speaks really highly about just like you know your your interests, your passions, all that stuff. And yeah, um, we had a chance to work together on a few things. First of all, the the Black Diamond project that was just like yeah. a little snippet of me and my obsession with off widths and just suffering through yeah. early off widths. And it was funny because that was like maybe one of the first video I was projects. like, hey, can you like redo that? Can you just like slither down that crack? And <laughs> yeah, can you slide down, get that arm bar back up there? Yeah, yeah. But it was cool because I feel like you're, like what took me like 10 years to kind of do, it seems like you fast tracked. Like it's wild to see your work transition and just become so much more uh, intentional and focused. Yeah, and we, had, we had the chance I to go to, it. yeah, thank you. We had a chance to go to the Kirills together, which was like, Crazy, all so time. so wild. And yeah. What's crazy is that I feel like in doing those trips, what I'm always the most interested in is I'm like, dude, you've lived like a hundred lives. Yeah. And you said this before. You're like, I was in clean energy, blah blah. blah. But yeah. that doesn't even begin to like explain it. Like that's where I want to dig. Yeah. Into. We have like a six hour drive. We'll probably yeah, only yeah. be able to, you know, air a little bit of this conversation. But like to to know that to me yeah. is really interesting. I'd love to love to hear more. Yeah. I um. I was really fortunate um, early on to, well, first just to get into grad school at Stanford. I, I mean, I, I studied really hard and did well, and I got into their top clean energy program. And from there, um, studied really hard, got great grades, and ended up uh, at a fellowship in New York City for the Natural Resources Defense Council. Wow. And that, um, that pulled me into working for uh, Bloomberg New Energy Finance, yeah. and I became their um, lead analyst for smart grid uh, electric vehicles, mm -hmm. sort of all the all the demand side energy usage. Mm -hmm. um, I just had a really great launching point at an early age. Mm -hmm. 
stage yeah. in that career. And, but that could have been, been it. That could have been your trajectory. That could have been the trajectory. Yeah. I just found that I am an adventurer. <laughs> yeah. There's no other way to say it. Like my heart sings when I'm up on the mountain and it's you know really windy and rainy and gnarly, or I'm really cold and have limited food rations, yeah. and I'm out there adventuring. Like I need that edge. I yeah. think to feel huh. really alive. Was there this like moment though where you're like sitting at a desk, you're staring at some graph? <laughs> I picture you like coming into the office and you've got like a goggle tan from skiing and your hands are all bloody from climbing and yeah. people are like what have you been doing was it yeah. kind of like that did it have that there were, like there was a time when I went to Nepal for a month yeah. did a cave archaeology shoot for National Geographic yeah. and randomly one of the photos that Corey Richards took ended up on the cover of the magazine and it was of me like rappelling into a cave system where we found oh. all these artifacts yeah. and I come back to I was working for Bloomberg at the time, and I'm like on the cover of National Geographic. <laughs> and the people there just thought I was an alien. Yeah. It was super weird. Where are we? About to head into an ice cave. It's gonna be rad, the sapphire cave. Dude, how sick is this ice cave? This place is crazy. Oh my gosh, you got the rig out. Got the rig. Oh my gosh. Is this your first ice cave? You grew up in Jackson yeah. Hole area. You, you grew up skiing. The mountains were your backyard. Yeah. You were super inspired by these, these big open spaces, right, obviously. And through growing up in the mountains, you met some amazing guides yeah. who you kind of um, had like a tutelage under, sort yeah. of a mentorship. You <clears throat> you spend your, your off time doing just as big of objectives. I mean, just give us an overview of the last like two years, like the big expeditions that oh, you've done. Um, like, I, I, Amit de Blom. Amit de Blom is a beautiful peak in the Kumbu. Uh, region of Nepal. It's a very technical, stunning peak at the foot of Everest. A Fitzroy in uh, Patagonia. That's like my and, proudest and, climb. Yeah, yeah. And Fitzroy was more yeah. of the per like what I mean is like Fitzroy is more of the personal project. Completely personal. But yeah. you managed to still. You took your camera. You shot photos. Yeah. yeah. But I think from all these trips, you produced amazing content. Yeah, yeah. I produced content. It's it's been licensed, and so that's some of my proudest work. Like I'm, I'm so. Um, just happy with how those photos have turned out mm -hmm. and I think there's something to that like just pursuing what your natural interests are yeah. and really going for it and finding amazing photos sort of as it all happens yeah um, just letting it all unfold yeah. Yeah. and getting after big adventure and then it you know, let, let the rest fall into place totally That was a mission. sick mish. Oh my gosh. Always a pleasure, brother. Thanks yeah. for everything, man. Yeah, thank Ted you. Ted Hester, man. everybody. That was um, awesome. Yeah. All right. See you. All right. See, see you soon. Bye. See you.